Hi and welcome to Tech and More. In this video, we are going to talk about data management in Salesforce, and it is going to be a part of the series Salesforce Concepts to Know as a Salesforce Tester. And uh, before actually going ahead with the video, let me just give you a quick ride about this playlist that is Salesforce Concepts to Know as a Salesforce Tester, wherein if you are a QA professional and you're looking forward to make your career into the Salesforce domain and you are looking for a place to find all the content of Salesforce that you need to know, we have it at one place, at one destination. And uh, you, you uh, have a look at these videos to practice what we are teaching. And I'm quite sure you'll be able to switch into the Salesforce domain for sure. So without wasting any more time, let's go on to the main topic for the day, which is data management in Salesforce. That is how you can import, export, or update data in Salesforce from third-party systems. For example, Microsoft Excel. That is going to be the in-scope software for now. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be importing data from uh, Microsoft Excel into the Salesforce system or in the DevOps. And for those of you who do not know what a devog is, please go ahead to the playlist and have a look at it. So thank you. So data management is basically the practice of collecting, using data securely and effect efficiently and cost effectively. That is the best way to import data into Salesforce, outside data into Salesforce, creating that outside data into records is by two ways. One is data import and one is data loader. So data loader is i mean there are n number of differences that we'll see in the last slide but just to give you a gist data loader is basically used wherein the records are huge and what that number is that we'll discuss and the data import is used for cases wherein the number of records are low or less now data import is an inbuilt functionality within salesforce dev org right and uh, data uh, this data loader is something that you have to download as a software and uh, Honestly saying, you will not, uh, I mean, there is not a lot of difference between using data import and data loader. If you know how to use the first one, that is import wizard, you'll straight away get to know what a data loader is and how to use it. So I'll be just showcasing the use of data import. And uh, if you require, you'll be ab easily able to use data loader as well. So let's start. The first one is data import. This tool it is accessible through the setup menu. As I said that it is within the dev work. You need not install or download anything. It lets you import data easily. So let's go to the dev work. And uh, as I call the setup as the powerhouse of Salesforce dev work, let's go there and uh, let's search for uh, data import wizard in quick find, <clears throat> right? So I click on data import wizard and uh, I will click on launch wizard. And I'll find here accounts and contacts because I am planning to import accounts in this particular situation for this particular example. So for doing that, I need to have an Excel wherein all the data which correlates to the account records in general is there, right? So let me open this sheet that I've already prepared for you guys. So if you can see here, uh, I have included a couple of fields from the account record. For example, account name, account number, website, employees, and Q1 revenue which is here, account name, uh, website, Q1 revenue and everything, right? And I have put in two records for reference, right? So now I'll, I have already downloaded this and I'll upload this in the data import wizard. And you'll see that these two records will automatically get reflected in the Salesforce dev org from the Excel, right? What That is what import is, right? So since these are new records, I'm not updating existing ones and click on add new records and uh, these are the fields here. So it asks you by which field do you want to match the records? Basically, uh, with the help of which field do you want the mapping to happen? That is, uh, when you say that I want to create a new record or I want to want to import new records, which field do you want to use to map it? So we'll be using name field here, right? M map it as in that I'll select name field and whatever data it will find in the name field here in the account name field here that will that is something that it will map to the name field here in salesforce right so herein i'll go ahead and i'll select csv which i've already downloaded and imported right let me go ahead and upload this or open this and let me click on next now you'll see the mapping see do you see the data which was as there in the Excel. So the account name has been mapped to account name. This is the field name in Salesforce. This is the field name in the Excel or in the CSV header, 
right so account name account name this account number has been mapped to account number website has been mapped to website in the excel and likewise right so i'll go ahead and i'll click on next and uh, your import will include mapped fields five your import would not include zero fields that means that all the mapping has been done perfectly right perfectly correct right so i'll go ahead and i click on start import and uh, this is the progress bar sort of a progress bar that you can say wherein your what is the progress of your import going on right now can be displayed again it takes it it takes time depending upon the amount of data right so here in the progress is 100% it is completed the records has been processed very quickly because they, there were only two records to import if there had been 10000 the time would have been accordingly more right so let's check whether these records have been imported into the org or not so how we'll do that i'll go ahead i'll copy one of the account name that is our enterprises and i will go ahead and search it in the global search this is something that we call as global search right i pasted it here i find this option of our enterprises and details and there you go the account number that is 12345 the q1 revenue this amount the website everything has been exactly correctly imported from the excel right so this is a successful import same we'll check for k enterprises as well of course you need not check it because you of course you cannot check it for all the records but i'm just showcasing you so this is how the other record got imported this is the beauty of the data import in salesforce that is you are able to import n number of records update n number of records jab by just doing a simple clicks and there you go. and there you have all the data in salesforce that you require so this is data import now talking about data loader if you see the screenshot here you see insert update upsert it is the same as data import the only difference is and again there are n number of differences right so uh, the most major difference is that any data that cannot be imported using data import wizard is usually done to make sure that the data is imported using data loader that is it right so if you want to uh, i would say uh, let's suppose i'll i'll give you an example here so if you see it clearly if you want to import data which is less than 50000 records what are records so if instead of these two right if it had been 50000 records right till 50000 records in that case data import wizard would have worked and data loader would have worked as well if it was between 50000 to Unit then hundred thousand to thousand lakh ten lakh fifty lakh records, then data import wizard would not have worked, but data loader would have worked. That is the beauty of data loader that once it crosses that particular fifty thousand mark, it will not create, uh, it will not import records, but data loader will. And uh, if it is more than fifty lakhs, no, no, none of the two will work. And the other differences are there so you can go ahead and have a look at these differences in piece but nobody is going to ask you a lot of differences for your domain you just need to know this number that is if the records are less than 50000 we go with data import if the records are more than 50000 we go with data loader that is it so i hope that the basic difference between data import data wizard and what how to use them is clear to you and uh, this is all that you need to know as a as a tester as a salesforce tester so i hope that this everything of this particular uh, video was clear and if you have any queries any questions please feel free to reach out to us and uh, thank you so much for watching see you in the next video